Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Four Heroes of Light! Last time, we made our way to Urbeth, so let's see if we can find someone to help out with our cat here. Maybe one of the merchant lords that lady was talking about will know. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that would be a problem. But fortunately, I already just won one from them last time, so I don't even have to steal it. Oh, well, yeah, I'll probably buy stuff here eventually. They've got a lot of shops here and a lot of stuff to buy that I'm going to be doing. Oh, okay, never mind then. But if you go up here, ha-ha. I'm just stealing some of your firewood. Pay no attention to me. Might want to have better security for your storage room. Oh. Hmm. Well, maybe I should check it out. Help them, help them out. But anyway, more hidden treasure. Where is everyone here? I was going to use the bar to get information like every other JRPG. Well, okay, never mind then. Maybe people come here at night. But anyway, more hidden treasure. Oh, by the way, since last time, I already deposited some of my equipment at the storage shop here. I did that off screen. And I want to deposit some more stuff so that way I have the inventory space to get the rest of the treasures around here. There's five more hidden treasures and there's one more chest that we can get before I move on. Could it be? Hey, hey how's it going? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Ha ha ha. Okay, never mind then. I don't need more party members. I would have to disagree with you, but they do have some decent weapons here. But nothing that I really care about that much. Oh, sure, thanks for the offer. Oh. Well, I don't really care much for elemental weapons, for a reason that I will be indicating later in the episode. Oh, yeah, I already talked to him. Now, I'm not going to buy anything right now, because, well, my money situation is not doing too good. Sorry, this is an Ultima 4, so I'm not going to give you money, because there's no benefit to doing so. Ah. Maybe we should check him out. Someone not a, who knows magic like that might be able to help us. Lift the curse or something. Oh, well, good for you guys. But anyway, more treasure. Awesome. I might need that high potion. Oh, yeah, they actually have some pretty good status protecting equipment that I will be getting soon enough. But anyway, if you go to the dock over here, more treasure. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why his name doesn't rhyme with all the other ones around here. Byleon, Trileon. There's one more I haven't met yet. Huh. Oh, remember that for later, viewers, about those puppets. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of noticed the same shops were in relatively the same area. Well, there you are. Hmm. Well, remember that for later, too, viewers. If you want some new accessories or jewelry or something. Oh, okay. I'm a JRPG protagonist. I can go into people's houses whenever I want. You don't want me to get in, lock the door like that one item shop. Well. Well, I got some gems, but I'd really rather not sell them because I'll be putting them to use soon. More treasure. Awesome. Now, up there, or this alley there, that's where the sorcerer is. We gotta talk to him in order to advance the plot, but I don't want to do that just yet. I'd like to get all the 
treasure first before talking to him. But anyway, there's no one at the end but the innkeeper. But I did want to get this axe from... Oh, there is another guy here. Okay. But yeah, I don't know why someone would have an axe in a bathtub, but okay. Well, we're doing good on the treasures so far. Maybe it's not an axe. Maybe it's like one of those back scratchers or whatever people use in the shower. I don't know the word for it. Oh. Hmm. I'll remember that for later, too. Lots of stuff that we need to know for later. Well. Well, fortunately, I got water magic, so that helps out a bit. Okay, but anyway, this is a new shop in the game. It's the only one in the game. The equipment upgrading shop. You select a weapon, and then you got these six slots here that you can put gems into. And when you do that, it boosts the attack or magic attack power of the piece of equipment. Or for armor, it would be defense, like that. And I'm going to be doing some of that very, very short. Well, not today, but very shortly. The thing is, is that, well, the magic shop's closed during the day, by the way. But yeah, with the weapon up, or equipment upgrading, the gems chosen to upgrade it are chosen at random. So if you just cancel and then go back into the menu again, you can re-roll the gems that they want until they have something that you got or want to use. But anyway, there's last Merchant Lord, Myleon. So now I need to... Oh, well, there's one more thing here. Oh, yeah, so far. But anyway, I want to go into the canals over here to get the last of the treasure. So yeah, I will be doing weapon upgrading, and I'll go over that in more detail next time, but not today. But anyway, that's the last hidden treasure. But if you go down from about the middle of the tower there, you can get in the back door here. And it's the only way to get this treasure. And that'll be pretty useful for us coming up. Not right now, but eventually. It's pretty powerful and fire elemental, so that works well for us. Oh yeah, by the way, about elemental weapons. The reason why I don't usually like elemental weapons is because you could just use the equipment upgrading shop to max out a non-elemental weapon and then just like switch around gloves or like the mystic sword ability or magic sword ability that cringe had there and so you could just switch around your element at will like that so why bother upgrading a ton of different elemental weapons when you could just use one non-elemental weapon and then just change the element from there that's a lot easier to do so, I'm not going to be upgrading too much stuff, especially not now, but later on in the game I will be upgrading much more. Weapons are where it's at, though. Armor, not so much. But anyway, yeah, we got to talk to the sorcerer here with our allegedly cursed cat. Oh, well, I don't have very much. Ten thousand?! That's over 9,000. How am I ever going to get that kind of money? Well, what you're supposed to do is talk to the merchant lords and they, they might be able to help you out. So let's start with Trileon here. Oh, um, yeah, pretty much. What do you mean, here? Or... Ah, okay, well, I'll see if I can find them. But anyway, there's three specific NPCs around here that want the rings that we got. And they don't do anything for us, so yeah, there's no point in worrying about that. But anyway, the first guy is over here. Oh yeah, by the way, with the Tower of the Sky there, it is possible to run into enemies there. But they're not extraordinarily difficult, so you just use the right element on them and you'll be fine.
we don't actually get money directly from selling them. We gotta sell, or at least find, three NPCs who want the rings, and even though it makes the ching sound effect, it's not money to us. It's just money that we're gonna be giving back to Trileon there. But yeah, if you recall, she was saying she wanted the new, newest accessories, so now she does. Let's see. The other one, I think, is outside by the inn, if I recall correctly. So let's head on back here. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Okay, yeah, sure. I thought you were just going to buy it for yourself, but whatever works. They don't really look like anything special to me. I mean, it's not like they're diamond rings or, or anything like that, but okay. But anyway, okay, you sold all the rings. Go back here. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. You don't have my money. Where's my money? Where's my money? But anyway, for completing this task, yeah, we get a little money out of her. So what you're supposed to do is do these favors for the four merchant lords, and then you'll be able... Well, spoiler alert, they're all going to have something for us to do. And when you do all that... You'll get like 2,500 per, except for one of them. And I'll go over that when we get there. But anyway, let's get the next task over here. You can tell who the merchant lords are because they don't look like everyone else. Oh, yeah. Saw the sign outside. What do you need? Well, if you remember, the other guy was talking about how they use bomb fragments in making their armor. That seems like a massive design flaw to me, but okay. But anyway, since I already have one, I might as well do this now. If you don't, you want to make someone into a bandit, go outside, fight the hellhounds like almost everyone around you was saying, and just steal it from them and that'll take care of you. I don't think you actually have to do all these favors, but they're easy enough, so we might as well. But if you can come up with ten grand another way, hey, go nuts. But anyway, okay, there's one more that I want to pick up here. And I also want to buy some items while I'm here. Oh, no, I didn't mean to say yes. No, I, I'm, I'm not interested in your wares. Aim? Keep on accidentally hitting the A button. But anyway, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see any around there. But anyway, once you talk to him about that and agree to help him out, there's going to be a chimera waiting for you back at the cave there. So I'm going to want to buy a torch so I can see where I'm going and another dragon wing since I'm out of those. And that way I can just instantly warp back here once I'm done with that. I also want to buy up to five ethers to put into storage there. Some of you probably know what I'm already thinking of doing. But anyway, okay, so we got that favor. Let's see if Thousand has a favor for us. And by the way, once you've completed one of the favors for the Merchant Lords, if you talk to Yunita, she has more stuff to say now. Oh, yeah, probably a good idea. Well, at least you cheered up her spirits. More party members! And I'll be rearranging my setup and equipment in just a moment. But before we do that, let's, let's talk to Thazand here. If I can ever get up these stairs. Oh, no, I've, I would just go downstairs if I was shopping, but... Ah, well, we're, we're just trying to save our cat, I guess. Yeah, I've got plenty of stuff in storage. What is chutzpah, anyway? Is that like a real word, or is that just gibberish for you've got the stones, or the balls, or swagger? 
or whatever word for that kids are using these days. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, in order... Well, we don't really have a task for Thalzan to get 2,500, but what you can do is once you talk to him, then talk to this guy, and you can sell some of your items here. And this is easily the best way of making money in the game. It's obscenely good. So anyway, what you do is you go in your inventory here, and you can select whatever items you want to sell, up to 10 if you've got them, and then you can put some prices on them and massively overcharge for them. And you could also put hot deal on an item to make a specific item sell better. But I'm not going to do that right now. I want to, uh, well, take care of the Chimera, get some equipment take, set up, taken care of, and then we'll head on back to the hunting caves. Can we defeat the Chimera? Find out next time on Let's Play The Four Heroes of Light. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.